back to the channel. It's a sunny, beautiful day here today. We're here in Grapevine, Texas. Shooting a quick video for you guys. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, all the likes and the comments. I know I mentioned in the last video that I will show you guys the new wheels that I just got. Car turned out real great. I'm sure you guys just watched that little short film of my boy Luigi. Shout outs to him for doing that. Thought the video came out super sweet. Here's a quick little POV. Don't want to bore you guys too much. I'll be going over everything of how the new wheels look, how they feel, how they ride, and just overall what it looks like. Here it is from the side. There they are. Titan 7s, TD6s I believe they're called, 18 by 9.5, plus 45 offset, I think they look super good. I have them wrapped in a uh, Firehawk Indy 500s, 265, 35, 18, car turned out way better than I expected. The color I went with is a uh, hyper silver, kind of like a medium brightness. I could have went brighter, but I think they look just as good as how they came out. The wheels used to be white. I went with like this silver look. I think it looks kind of like just classic OEM. Car sits way nice. Again, I'm on Swift Springs, as I mentioned in my last video. A lot of you guys watched that seemed to like it. Thank you for everyone watching that. Car looks real nice. The plus 45 I went with came out nice. It's like a slight tuck. Like I said, Swift Springs. Gives it that real nice drop. Just trying to give you guys every way possible where it looks like the tires are very nice um definitely not a all season tire not so well in the rain of course but if you're not in a if you don't live in somewhere where it's not rainy too cold and all that these are a real good tire unfortunately over here in texas we do get all kinds of different weathers so I will be switching maybe most likely to all all season tires. Still keeping the same the same tire size. This is a real good tire size for these cars. Yeah, and they came out super sweet. Love the way they look. Not sure if I'm gonna keep these wheels for a long time, but for now I really like the way it looks. It gives me a good uh knowing of what 18s look like if anybody out there was still with the stock 20s i would highly recommend 18s those 20s are super heavy as everyone knows 18s super lighter to be honest first day driving it felt like a whole different car to me feels lighter feels just more in tune with the steering Definitely gives you like a night and day difference as everyone mentioned, which is I'm a true believer now. Love the way it turned out. Comment down below if you like the wheels. Like this video, please. And just overall, let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm sure there'll be lots of people wondering what they are. They're Titan 7 TD6, 18 by 9.5, and, and a plus 45 offset. 265 35 tires. Probably one of the best size tire. No rubbing issue whatsoever. I know if I do do plus 38 one day, it might rub a little bit. 
people always mention that it rubs right around here Hopefully that's not the case when I do do plus 38s one day, but plus 45, no issues whatsoever. I do have more parts on the way, more videos on the way of course. I want to show you guys everything that I continue to do with this thing, like I said and I've mentioned, it's far from complete. Just these wheels alone, I mean, gives it a whole different car effect, looks different. Just honestly a whole different car the way it should have came. I don't know why they went with the eight the twenties. But 18 looks super super nice. They do look a tad bit small. You kind of get used to them though. I think they look great as long as you have lowering springs or coilovers. Even if you don't out there, not recommending to get lowering springs, but it definitely covers that gap. You could definitely cover that gap with a different size tire. I just really like the way it looks lowered and no rubbing issues whatsoever like I said I know that's always a big complaint whenever you lower a car but to me overall it looks amazing uh, not much new things I've done since the last video besides the wheels of course this is the main focus here for today's video trying to give you guys different POVs of what it looks like if you guys plan to go 18s out there I know a lot of people already are on 18s but there's definitely a large variety of you guys that are thinking about switching I know I was thinking about switching so this is my this is my take on it my video just showing the world showing you guys my viewers my subscribers hopefully new subscribers too what it is to be on 18s on a Civic Type R 2017 to 22. Phenomenal car, like I've mentioned and I've stated a bunch of times. Truly looks amazing. The silver I love, I wanted to do something kind of classic, but still tying it all in together, making it look a little different. I love the way you can see the brakes a lot more. There's a lot more openings for you can see those big brimbos. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. Definitely, you cannot run stock lug nuts if you guys know about that. I'm on some uh, Muteki, I think, I believe they're called. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's kind of hard to pronounce that word. Yeah, possibly, possibly new tires soon. Like I said, maybe some all seasons I want to do on here. Just because I do drive the car a lot. I want to enjoy it and not have to worry about certain conditions. It looks really good. That's the car. A lot more aggressive stance. It honestly did kind of lower the car a little bit more. Compared to my 20s. You know I was very tucking those. But this is like very spot on it looks great i get a lot of compliments with it a lot of people wondering if the wheels came like this like i said they definitely don't come this color i believe they only come in white bronze and black if i'm not mistaken so i wanted to just be a little different like i said hyper silver kind of just a normal brightness they do offer it in you know a little bit darker a little bit brighter but I think they came out spot on but a lot more planned like I said for the car I do have some parts already stashed away just needed to make some time make some videos on that just hold on and wait for new videos to drop on this thing it's a lot more to do to this platform Shout out to all the companies that went kind of crazy making these making these modified parts for this car. I mean, absolutely really good stuff out there on the market. I plan to run a lot more cool performance stuff. Just overall make this thing a lot more crazier than what it is. A lot more fun. 
a lot more driver oriented really feel like this car is already planted and super nice the way it is but there's definitely room for improvement and I will definitely be doing that this is just the beginning and thank you all for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and once again appreciate my boy Luigi for doing that little short film for you guys super blessed to have people I know that are in the cinematic video and photography industry it's something I really like doing and I want to just bring you guys better quality better videos so that was a huge success But yeah, any comments, any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll definitely answer everything. And once again, thank you everyone for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.